<coughs> Hello fellow YouTubers, my name is Brenton. You will have seen me on other posts about the biggest Yabby Mali, and I'm going to do further posts on other topics, but for now, here is an article I forgot to show you about the biggest Yabby when he made it into the newspaper. Okay, I'll just pull this down up here. Radio. I've got it all folded up and shit, so I'll just leave it like that. But here you go. You got here, what does it say? The Standard, Wednesday, December 12, 2007. Whoa, I've had him for a long time. Yabba dabba do. Marley's a real monster. But they, the stupid, um, well, not stupid, <laughs> the, um, standard photographer. They didn't make the photo too good. Well, it's pretty good, but it could have been better because they showed a frontal shot, which doesn't really show how big he is. It shows in comparison to my hair, but on the side, more would have been better. Anyway, just have a read here. I'll just hold it here while you read. Okay, I'll read it for you. One of Victoria's biggest yabbies is swimming around in a bath in Naringal. The giant yabby, which weighs in at 325 grams, double the average weight of a normal example, was found by Brenton Duvin in a dam at his property at the end of September. The 20-year-old couldn't believe his eyes when he saw how much the yabby weighed, so he decided to double-check it. I ended up taking him to the fruit market and asking if I could put him on their scales, he said. They said, go for it, so I did it, and it was right. But obviously I didn't sound like that because that sounds like they put too many it's in. They changed the wording wrong. Anyway, since September, Mr. Durbin has kept the 34 centimeter long crayfish as his pet, naming him Marley. It's the biggest one I've ever seen, he said. We had two people come down from Melbourne from Australian Blue Yabby Aquaculture and they said it was the biggest one they'd ever seen too. The experts have taken great interest in Marley not only because of his size but also because it could be a new species. It's a big, strong male, not a hybrid, which has a tail wider than females and huge round claws, Mr. Duvin said. The experts said they would pay Mr. Duvin to take the abbey, study it further and try to breed more. We have to wait until it has molted before he can do anything, Mr. Duvin said. They're saying that it should molt any time now. Mr. Duvin said he was not yet sure if he wanted to sell Marley. He's currently contacting other experts to see what other information can be found out before making a decision. Uh, I didn't say all those things in the article like that. It didn't sound like that. They kind of twisted the whole story. But anyway, that's what you get, eh? It's pretty good that Marley has been in the newspaper. And now, as you would have seen, the other video I just took of Marley's untimely death shows us um, how precious life is, really. Yes, it does. Let's have a look, one last look at Marley's tank. Just here. It's still inhabited by two females which he was supposed to breed with. He did, in fact, breed with a smaller female about this long, 10 or 15 centimetres, a while ago, a couple of months ago, or oh, probably a month or two. But unfortunately, he ate her before I could take her out with the eggs. So. Yes, but we've got him frozen to take samples of his genes and clone him. Because, yes, the next 50 years of genetic engineering and genetic manipulation will be like the last 20 years of computing and electrotechnology. So it's believed by quite a lot of people. So, signing out, I am Brenton. I'll see you around.